Hello everybody and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2, but we play as Master of... Uh, wait, that, that seems like the wrong character. I of course meant Vanitas. How could I be so silly as to confuse the two? They're not saying I like, or are they? If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, we're back here uh, as Vanitas. We're still wielding the Keyblade of Hearts. Uh, I'll take a look at if we actually want to change up our Keyblade at this point, because we did get um, our quest Keyblade last time around. That might actually be worth our time to... Oh, we didn't even need to win there. Okay. Uh, it might actually be worth our time to change into. And we also got a new ability, I'm pretty sure. So let's give that a bit of a look, because we have... Um, this new ability, which do we have an AP up to go with that? That would be amazing if we did. We do not. So for the first time, we're going to have to choose which abilities we actually want to have. Okay, so Stormfall is just straight up better. Uh, it doesn't have Air Combo Plus. It has Blizzard Boost, however. But it's also got 4 and 4. Uh, so we're going to go with Stormfall going forward. So we're going to act like we're Aqua, <laughs> apparently. Uh, let's equip a fourth high potion as well. Um, let's buy some high potions. Actually, let's also look in the shop if we actually have anything else. We can't even buy high potions. The fuck is this? Um, let's go back to Radiant Garden real quick. Because I want to see if we have any new potential uh, unversed. Because... The one that's healing me, they're all level 1, right? I think, uh, I think the game froze. So, actually, now we can go back to Holobastian. That works out. Uh, we only have to do that one fight over again. But that's not that big of a deal. So, uh, the one that was healing me isn't really doing that much. So... I'm just going to go ahead and see if we can get anything else. Because everything is level 1, and they die fairly quickly, and as a result of that, they're not around to heal me. And they waste, uh, they waste wow, talking, waste the healing uh, a lot on each other as well, it seems like. So, let's see, uh, synthesize, do we have anything that we can synthesize, actually? Free development, um... This might not be bad to look into. A Mithril Ring. Let's synthesize that. And a Midnight Anklet. Let's synthesize that as well. Faragat Bangle. We need to synthesize a lot of things anyway to uh, level up. Because, again, eventually, we want to make this. It's going to be a while before we can make that. But eventually, we want to make that. So, uh, that's everything we can make. But hey, that was at least something. Do you sell high potions? You do not. Uh, I call bullshit on that. Gonna be another view. Does this guy over here... I think you're not a weapons guy. You're the weapons guy. Do you sell new inverse yet? You do not. You do not. So, I guess I'll be back uh, in Agrabah in a moment. This one doesn't really seem to work, by the way, this ability. So, I'm going to... Unequip that and equip this because it sounds a lot better. Now I'll be back in a moment again, actually in Agrabah. Because I'm not going to make you guys sit through that fight again. Let's see if we can actually... That seems real good. Oh yeah, that, that seems real good. That seems real, real, real good. Okay, I like that. Let's keep that. Let's keep that on. Okay, so we're back in Agrabah now, and let's see what we have to do, because we uh, probably have to, we don't have to fight here, that's good, because only Goofy are on this map, which always means don't open a menu, first and foremost, uh, but it also means that, oh, that might have been the issue, I might have opened a menu last time around, uh, but it also means uh, that we don't have to fight, because they are walking around as NPCs rather than... I got a new, new high potion, which means that I don't have four high potions. I need more high potions. We need to go to the palace, okay, if you say so. I thought we needed to go to the desert, but... Hey, my camera stick works suddenly. I don't remember mapping those buttons. But it suddenly works, so I'm not complaining. 
at all. Sure, that that menu never makes sense in this mod because you always have your uh, your mates together with you anyway. Uh, except you don't all. Oh my. Okay. Um. Okay. Now I do. Uh, anyway, let's not fight those guys because I keep forgetting. I don't get experience out of it anyway, but it's just so satisfying to absolutely destroy these fools. Especially if I can knock them into an air combo and then do the thing I did before with uh, with the new ability I got. It seems wrong to be using... Oh, no! <laughs> I need to go to the shop. It seems wrong to be using Aqua's uh, uh, Keyblade. I was going to say Aqua's ability. Aqua's Keyblade as Vanitas because Vanitas is kind of the person that almost kills Aqua in the Keyblade graveyard. But uh, you know what? At this point, I'm kind of over it, because did you see how much damage I just dealt with that magic? Compared to with the Keyblade of Hearts. I like that. I really do appreciate that a lot. Because my magic was honestly being... Oh, no, 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 no. Heal me. Unversed, thank you. Okay, you have just proven your usefulness to the team to stay on the team a little bit longer because you saved my life. Again, why am I fighting these fools? Because they don't give me experience. I'm not grinding for any synthesis materials right now. I mean, eventually they'll, I'm sure, come in handy for like just passive means, whatever I'm getting here. But I probably should just be getting the fuck out of here because I assume that I'm gonna die. Exactly. I, I assume that when I go and grind for the synthesis materials. I'm not going to do the grinding at level 1. That seems a bit much, right? I'm probably just going to unequip the zero experience ability. You know what? Let's just get out of here. Uh, I'm going to unequip the zero experience ability uh, for the grinding portion, I assume, and then just re-equip it to go back to level 1 when I actually got the Keyblade. That's my current plan, anyway. I don't know if that's going to... I was thinking that... Oh! Is that a new summon? I've actually still not used summons. Let's, let's use a summon. What does this do? Is it literally just... It doesn't do anything other than just fight for me. It's just a new NPC. Is it? It seems like it, which, I mean, I'm not complaining. Let's, uh, let's exit the world because, again, that's how this works. It seems less useful than the dry form, though, to me. But I did just get something new, which means that maybe that one is a lot better. Uh, and I think that is a hard look. But uh, it doesn't seem to show up in the menu. Is the thing. Because we got the Frigid Samurai, and now we got a Lamp Charm, which we already had. And the other one just does not show up. Oh, oh no! That is a... That is a new thing for Goofy. That is even better. Let's go Unverse too. Let's see what you got. Dual wielding madness that is feared massive, uh, passively reduces the amount of enemies that spawn. Uh, hell the fuck yeah. That seems like I uh, shouldn't have did that in this map. Probably. I think that may give me some issues. It does not. That is real good, because I was terrified there for- Ah, uh, heal, 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 heal! Shift shot. Just shift shot everything. Okay, that's what we need. This is what we need. This is what we need. Okay. Um... So far, you're not doing your job very well. You're supposed to passively reduce enemy spawns, uh... But it doesn't seem like you're doing that very well, so far. That again? With my new combo and my new Keyblade, I think we'll be fine. 
Opcraft will be in Think, because maybe... Actually, let's uh, let's check in a moment. He All right, now we can check things right now as well. That that also works. Uh, but let's check my Mithra Ring, which is a lot more AP and some more magic at the cost of some strength. I think I don't mind that. Uh, we have a Shadow Angler, which is the worst version. A Midnight Angler is a better version, so we're going to go with that. And, I mean, I might as well give you something, right? I'm going to give you a Dark Angler, and then neither of these really matter for you. So, going to give you neither of them. And let's re-enter the map to, to save that loadout. And this time around, what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into the Cave of Wonders and don't give no fucks because those shift shot enemies are destroying me. So let's actually this time around uh, summon this Frigid Samurai just to see what he does. Doesn't seem to be doing too much. I'm going to be honest with you. I I'm going to try to let him deal the damage here. He doesn't seem to be too useful. I'm gonna be honest with you. So, we're not gonna be using that again, I don't think. Let's open some chests here. Uh, why can't I open the chest? Because I'm on the wrong side. That makes all the sense in the world, actually. I want to try to make it to the next map before the samurai disappears, because it might actually allow me to keep the drive gauges to use as a drive form. Summon gauge powered up. Uh, sure thing, I, I guess. Will I keep my drive gauges? Because I'm probably going to need them sooner or later. And it's probably going to be sooner because there's a uh, enemy gauntlet coming up. And enemy gauntlets are a bitch. You will literally just have to... Okay. Why did my my summon not despawn for this? Because this is a waste of summoning power gauge things. This mini game seems stupid. I got summon boost though, which is appropriate because I literally just used a summon. And not a very good one. I'm hoping that I can also eventually summon like a sorcerer. That'd be amazing. Do I have a drive recovery? Because again, I, I don't. I'm about to head into uh, an enemy gauntlet. Multiple enemy gauntlets back to back, as a matter of fact. And that doesn't seem like a good time not to have a backup drive activation. I'm gonna be honest with you, just seems like a bad time to not have that. We'll be fine. We can, uh, we can make up our lost drive gauges in this enemy gauntlet, and then the next one, which is actually more tricky usually. We can, uh, we can probably use our Riku form. I'm really looking forward to getting my uh, next drive form, because, again, I'm fairly certain that there's going to be more than one drive form. And usually, by this point in the game, I think you already have other drive forms. So I'm really looking forward to actually getting So Oh, no, 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 no. That is bullshit. That's, that, that's bullshit. Probably shouldn't have gotten into the fire to begin with, but... Still consider that to be bullshit, because it is. So we use magic against him. That's what we do, right? We use uh, thunder or umbral storm, I should say, against him, because that, that that's just... It, or maybe if I can juggle him when I get behind him, that also might actually work. Don't use your MP on that other fool, or yourself. Actually, you, you might as well use it on yourself. Yeah, so my magic is dealing a lot more damage now that I'm actually using a magic-based Keyblade again. And I appreciate that a lot. Where's the enemies? There, okay, so this could get ugly. That was... That was horrible. That was... Oh my god. We're not even halfway through the game, guys. 
Not even halfway through the goddamn game. It's only going to get more difficult. It's only going to get more difficult. I'm never doing a critical mode level 1 run of normal Kingdom Hearts 2. Because this is already difficult enough as is. And this is easier by all accounts than actual Kingdom Hearts 2 unmodded. Okay. Get you, get you up in the air and start absolutely pounding you. No, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, maybe, a little, kinda. We did it. My commentary there was very in-depth. I, no, 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 no. You need to fucking go. You are a danger to us all, so bye. Actually, these other guys aren't dealing that much damage. It's it's mostly the fat bandit. Okay, no, no, no! <laughs> Fuck. I just realized, by the way, this guy I just got is not an unversed. That's a heartless. Now, if I need this kind of control the heartless as well. This entire shtick is that he's like the guy behind the unverse, which makes even less sense now. Because we, we know he is the physical embodiment of darkness. Not Vance darkness, but darkness. Just proper darkness. Uh, more or less, right? Which, with a new update, has some implications. No. That's bad. Bad times for me. This, however, much better times for me. I like this. If you could replenish my MP, that'd be nice. It would actually be real nice if you could also, like, just transfer your MP to me so that I have full MP again. Just, like, act like a, a, an ether or something. Oh, <laughs> that's so much... Bullshit. So much bullshit. That's what that is. It's gonna say so much damage, but bullshit seemed more fitting. If this keeps up, I'm probably just going to uh, cut ahead until I actually manage to do it. Because at this point, you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here. It's not that interesting to watch me fail over. Who am I kidding? You guys love it when I fail. You guys love my misery. Can't even blame you, really. Uh, this one is not a large body of Fat Bandit yet, right? I, I want the puzzle piece. I don't know why I want the puzzle piece, because I don't think they actually give you that much as far as useful items goes, but I want it. I want it, I need it. No! <laughs> no, you don't. No, you do not. Bye. That was an instant kill. I'm sorry, what? Remember when I used that summon? Because I figured, oh, it's going to, like, get booted off the game and I'm going to uh, get my drive gauges back and I can just use them afterwards. And then I couldn't. And then I said, there's an enemy gauntlet coming up and I'm probably going to need my drive form for that. And then I remembered, oh yeah, there's an enemy gauntlet before the enemy gauntlet. But it's probably not going to be a big deal. It's probably going to be a fairly easy one. Spoilers, it's not. Until it is. At which point, amazing. Okay, just do this. Just do this. Uh, that was one time too much. The length of the animations... I, I know this seems like I'm making an excuse, and to a certain extent I am, but the length of the animations really throws me off, because I'm used to having a rhythm with, like, using thunder or fire or something, and that is just like, press it, press it, press it, and then when it shows up, Yellow? I just, like, internalize when not to press it anymore. 
It's kind of like muscle memory at this point. I don't have that with these longer animations. The, the animations are significantly longer. Don't mistake. They are significantly longer than the original Kingdom Hearts 2 animations. Um, maybe I should be using Dark Barrier. I got Dark Barrier for a reason, so... Might as well try to use it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not a bad idea using that. Okay, that could have gone better. Could have gone worse, I suppose. Okay, I'm in midair. The fat bandit can't hit me. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is starting to feel like Kingdom Hearts 3, and then I died. And I was like, oh no, because Kingdom Hearts 3 is the easiest fucking game in the universe. Until you play it on Critical Mode, so maybe it does feel a bit like Kingdom Hearts 3 suddenly, because Critical Mode Kingdom Hearts 3 is no joke. That's actually, like, a difficult game. Because that game was never supposed to be played in critical mode. <laughs> that game, the bosses, like the attack patterns, they were not designed for you to not get hit. They were designed for you to very much get hit and take the hits. Though, the whole like Sora losing his powers thing, it, it, it feels more accurate with critical mode on. Because you do feel very, very weak when critical mode is actually enabled. Uh, we might get somewhere with these attempts, actually. There's one more floor after this one, I know, but... Let's just heal. Because it seems like... Instant kill! Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to cut ahead. Because we still have to do the other enemy gauntlet and then the boss fight. And we're 24 minutes into the recording, which does like... About a minute cut out because I had to go back to Agrabah after going to Holobastion. But still, this is uh, taking way too long. Okay, I think we might be getting somewhere. Because I am now down here. There's only two of those Ice-type dudes left. And oh, they deal a lot of damage. The Fat Body, or Fat Bandit, uh, I mean, disappeared. Which means we only have the last round to go. I don't know what it's like. We'll only have about 40 seconds to do it. I need to high potion as soon as I get to the floor here. Okay, this shouldn't be too big of a deal, actually. This should be fairly doable. We did just get enough back to go into a dry form. And uh, we did just get our magic back. We did it! It took me like three or so attempts off screen, uh, which were just wasted. Mostly at the place where you think it's wasted against the... Four ice type dudes and the one fire type dude. Uh, suddenly, this is apparently Pokemon. I don't know. Let's keep going. Uh, this is a map. I don't care. The other chest is a AP boost. I actually care about that one. So let's use it on me. Fanitas? Because now I can re equip. Wrong shop menu. Now I can re equip. This one. I, I don't care about any of this other stuff. I guess there is experience boost, which literally doesn't do anything, and someone boost, which I'm not going to be using someone's again because that was a total failure. So let's save state here just in case anything crashes. And now we go for the real enemy gondola. Yeah, that thing, that was just the appetizer. This is the enemy gondola I was afraid of. That being said, it's going to seem significantly less threatening because I can actually transform for this one. And uh, we've all seen the de utter destruction that is, uh... Oh, th th that's not good. That's that's real not good. That's real not good. That's real not good. There's a lot of shifting, dude. Okay, let's just transform. I don't care. Probably shouldn't have used up all my MP, but I'll probably be able to live anyway because most of these enemies are real weak. So... Turns out most of the enemies here are those little ice cube. Oh, that's not good. That's real not good. That's real, real, real not good. Okay. Fuck. I just got my MP back. I just got my MP back. I just got my goddamn MP back. Okay. So wait with transforming a little bit and don't waste all of your MP because you're going to need it for your dark barrier at the end there. That wasn't a bad first attempt though. I got to scout what 
the entire thing is like, because those were the last three heartless, I do believe. So this first part is a little stressful, but don't worry, just mash your triangle and attack buttons at the same time. Then you can do this, which... Actually... Let's heal. Because I think this might give me enough time to recharge my MP before the large uh, fat bandits, I always get them mixed up, uh, come out. It definitely does not. What it does, however, do is enough time for, do, for me to do this. And then... That works. That, that definitely does work. <laughs> and I think I'm going to actually not even lose any of my drive uh, gauge. Because it's going to boot me back into a, a cutscene and move me into a different map and stuff like that. And then it gave me back all my drive gauges, in theory. It does not. What it does, however, do is when I go back in here... It'll automatically boot me back into being normal Vanitas because your side characters are just walking around here. Which means that you can't be in a drive form, automatically restores all of your drive gauges. Before we go into the boss fight, which shouldn't be that big of a deal either. There are two of them, which I could make this a little bit more complicated and tricky than it needs to be. But I don't think it should be a huge deal. Maybe it will be slightly annoying. Definitely... Not a first time kind of win, most likely. Uh, I'm going to keep my drive form in the back pocket for when and if I need it, and there's only one of them left. Upside to this entire boss fight is that most of it will be uh, played in the air, which means that. I don't know what you're doing. Uh, which means that my air combos will be very useful, because my air combos are grossly overpowered. That was almost bad, okay. I gotta focus on one of them. I, I gotta focus on one. I don't care which one it is, but I gotta focus on one. Fire, fire gun, fire gun, okay. So maybe this fight actually isn't all that bad, because so far so good. That being said, I haven't gotten hit yet. When I get hit, I might just be instantly dead. Uh, yeah, it seems like that might be an instantly dead kind of situation. It is. It very much is. I don't want to give up. Hello, Mickey. Back to save me, I see. Um, Mickey, you're actually useful. You know what? That works. Get me drive orbs, because that's what I need. For my D charge. Charge that D up? I I, I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that out loud, did I? <laughs> charge that D up. Mickey doesn't have a block. I forgot about that for a moment. Can't use reaction commands as Mickey. That makes sense. I can't even damage you, it seems like. Healing light. Uh, do I want to go healing light yet, is the question. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. You don't actually need to go to Vanitas to do that. But, uh, I don't know. And, again, instant death. Mickey. Mickey. Mickey? Mickey! <laughs> I am convinced that the, the odds of Mickey showing up have been altered in this game, because... The amount of times Mickey has come to save my ass in this so far is unreal. Like, legit unreal. I feel like it gets reset back to 100% after every fight you do, rather than... And I feel like it also is a thing you can do in... I don't think you usually can get Mickey to show up in this fight, can you? I've never lost in this fight, so maybe you can. But I do feel like Mickey shows up a lot more than he's supposed to. Maybe I'm just very, very lucky. It is a possibility, but I kind of doubt it. Again, welcome to Kingdom Hearts 2, where we play as Mickey, which also would be a real fun mod. If you had, like, more functionality than just uh, the functionality as uh, Mickey when he saves you, that is. Because I don't want to have just that. 
Drive. I don't know why I thought I was gonna, like, increase my... Oh my god! <laughs> More! Uh, I don't know why I thought I was going to increase my defense. For some reason I thought it was. Obviously it does not. I should have just used Dark Barrier. If I had used Dark Barrier, I would have even done damage against him. But no, I was stupid and I did not do that. Okay, so Mickey is actually uh, getting damaged a bit. So let's just go around, grab some Drive Orbs. Avoid this like the plague. Or the coronavirus, maybe. Um, don't let Mickey die. If I die as Mickey, that would be real embarrassing. <laughs> Healing Light, <laughs> which actually makes me invincible. Great timing on that one. And, um... Let's just spam this. You can't spam that. And I died. Mickey? This is bullshit. <laughs> I, I appreciate the bullshit, but it is bullshit. I won't pretend like I am not getting saved by bullshit odds. Or the... Or the mod changes something which I still don't understand fully. Um, I'm doing most of my damage as Mickey at this point. That totally missed. I mean, I don't mind, but that totally... That shouldn't have missed. That didn't seem like it missed. No, mi no, no, no. Don't kill Mickey. Uh, that only okay, so when Mickey dies, you uh, go back to life. Only partly. Okay, I think this gives me the opportunity to at least take care of one of them, which makes taking care of the other one infinitely easier. In theory, at least. Okay, you dead? You're almost dead. Actually, you don't even damage me, because, again, this feels like Kingdom Hearts 3. It's just mid-air battles. Mickey, I think, saved me four times in this fight, but we now got Chaos Leap, which I have no idea what it is, but it sounds awesome. Mickey is my hero. Ironically enough, also, the final fight against Vanitas as Aqua, you have Mickey as your partner, so... Um... Donald? Is that your staff? No, it's not. It, it's Blizzard. Uh, of Fero Guns. We got a Blizzard element! Is a Blizzard element upgrade? Did we already have a Blizzard? We might have already had a Blizzard, so that might be our first upgrade element! That would be kind of neat. I, let's go back into Agrabah. I know this video has already been very long, so we won't spend a long, uh, a long time in there. Wait. We can go back to Twilight Town already? We don't even have to do Halloween Town? We're gonna go do Halloween Town. And I'm gonna look up if we can do Pride Lands and if Pride Lands has been changed or maybe like the Keyblade of it has been changed. We might not do Pride Lands as a result of this mod. I, I don't know. But let's go into... Uh, back into this world. Because I am just dying to know what Chaos Leap is, first and foremost. A series of strikes that carries you into the air used at the end of the combo with square. You can um, combo halfway through. That sounds kind of neat. And then we don't have any more AP ups. I, I, I very much appreciate more AP ups. Uh, what else did I get? Oh yeah, I, I got more magic. Uh, new magic. Uh, so, Fatal Blizzara. It's literally... Okay, that's not that impressive, gonna be honest with you. Actually, but what if I do it in midair? Wrong kind of magic. What if I do it in midair? Hang on. What if I do it in midair? Eh. I'm not gonna be using it. I like the magic setup I have right now. 
with uh, one of uh, my shortcuts being a potion. Next time we'll be going into Halloween Town, and the Oogie Boogie fight is gonna be horrible. Or not. Maybe Mickey's gonna save me. Who fucking knows? I'll see you back next week. Until then, I'm a vlogger. You've been awesome. Bye.